Hey students, welcome to yet another wonderful session. So in today's class, I'm going to be talking about equation reducible to linear form. And we all know what do we deal with when it comes to linear equations. So we have already learned about the simple equations in the previous grade. So before we start learning about this, let me give you an important update. So it's regarding the PyChoose mini learning program, which is now absolutely free. But to avail this, you have to use the code YTFREE. All are in caps over here. And let me first tell you what all benefits you are getting here. First thing, it's a limited period offer and three sessions over here you're getting absolutely free if you use this code. Now, the best advantage here is that you can book the class at whatever timings are suitable for you and three sessions you can take according to your convenience as me. I mean that you can choose the subjects as per your convenience. Now, dual teacher advantage is there, one-on-one -on -one guidance from the personal mentor, live interactive sessions like if, I'm, if you are liking our sessions over here, I'm sure that you would love the app. After class assignments and assessments are also shared over, over there. So, I hope that you are going to find this very amazing. So, link for that is given in the description. Please do go check that out. And another important thing, I hope you have joined the Telegram channel. So many benefits we are getting here. Whatever sessions we do here, their session PDFs would be shared over the Telegram channel. Some revision questions, some interesting Sunday facts, homework questions, quizzes, and yes, session updates as well. Link for this as well is given in the description. Please do go, do go check that out. Now let's not waste any more time here. Let's get started. So let's first try to understand what an equation is. So let's recall what an equation. If I talk about a mathematical statement, we can say that equation is nothing. It's a mathematical statement that establishes equality. If we look at this beam balance over here, over here it's 8 kgs and x kgs. Here it's 10 kgs and 1 kgs. And we can see that both the sides over here, it is balanced, right? So we can say that 8 plus x is going to be equal to 10 plus 1. The weights are balanced on both the sides. Now, if I try to write this thing in terms of algebraic expression, I can say that xy plus z is equal to xyz. Both the sides, we have got algebraic expressions. And this equal to sign over here is representing that this is actually an equation, right? That's what an equation is. When both LHS and RHS are balanced, when they are equal, Equal. Now let's move ahead to the main topic that we have. How do we reduce equations from non-linear form to linear form? Let's suppose we are given an equation in non-linear form. So to convert that into linear form, the first thing that we do is either we remove the denominator by taking LCM or we do cross multiplication. Let me take an example so that you can understand this better. Like we have x plus 2 upon 3x plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. So first we can see that this is not in the linear form. What we will do is we will take this 4 to the other side. So if I am taking it to the other side, the sign is going to get changed. It becomes 3x, I mean x plus 2 upon 3x plus 4 equal to minus 4. Now we can multiply this over here. We can cross multiply this, right? So that it becomes linear. So x plus 2 is equal to minus 4 times 3x plus 4. This 4 will be minus 4 will be multiplied with 3x as well as with 4. What do you get? You have x plus 2 equal to minus 12x minus 16. So now it is in the linear form. That's how we reduce it. Now let's try out a word problem based on this. I think word problem is something that where we maximum students face challenges. So let's discuss that. The ages of Hari and Harry are in the ratio 4 is to 7. Four years from now, the ratio of their ages would be 2 is to 3. Find their present ages. Question is asking us to find out their present ages. We are given some relationship. The ratio of their ages is 4 is to 7. But four years from today, the ratio of their ages would be 2 is to 3. We know that ratio is not the exact number, right? So let's suppose the present, their present ages are 4x years and 7x years respectively, right? So four years from now, what it is going to be? I'll simply add four years to it. Let's suppose right now if you're, if you're 12 years old, so four years from now, you're going to be 16. I'm just going to add four to it. Similarly here as well. Hari's age four years from now is going to be 4x plus four years. Similarly, Harry's age is going to be 7x plus four years. Now question says, Four years from now, the ratio of their ages would be 2 is to 3. What I'm doing here is I'm just doing the literal translation of the statement, the word by word translation of the statement. I'm just writing that down in the mathematical form. Four years from now, we have the ages, the ratio of their ages. That means 4x plus 4 upon 7x plus 4 becomes 2 by 3. This is what question says. Now let's cross multiply this. We are converting this to the linear form. So 3 times 4x plus 4 equal to 2 times 7x plus 4. I'm going to multiply with this 3 with whatever is written inside and 2 with whatever is written inside. That's going to be 12x plus 12 equal to 14x plus 8. On simplifying this, you get 2x equals to 4, so x is 2. But question is not done yet. We are asking, it is asked, what are their present ages? So if I talk about hurry, that's basically 4x. 
right? So 4x is going to be 4 times 2, that's going to be 8 years. And if I talk about Harry, that's going to be 7x, right? So that is 7 times 4, which is, I mean, 7 times 2, that's going to be equals to 14 years. So we have their present ages now. That's all. That's a, see, that's a very simple way to solve any, any word problem that we have. So I hope that this topic is crystal clear in your mind. If you have any doubts, please leave your comments in the comment section below. And also do let me know how you like this topic.